la 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 howdy doody how to ruin gamers and gamettes oh baby i'm excited hi guys welcome to a little bit of super mario odyssey so a little bit of context um mario odyssey is not a new thing on this channel uh i will say that mario odyssey is definitely not a new thing but it is something i kind of abandoned uh, for some apparent reason. Um, but I'm actually very excited because... Hold on, I'm going to... No. Game audio is going down. I need to I need to be able to hear. I feel like when I just said down, I sounded like the uh, astronaut in the ocean guy. I don't know the artist's name. I'm going to be completely real with you. Um, can you actually skip this cutscene? You can. I'm not going to skip it for... I'm not going to skip it for... Uh, the purpose of... Uh, engagement though so I'm not I'm not gonna skip it for that reason but um, I just wanted to do a little bit of Mario Odyssey recording as kind of a way to get back into um, the swing of recording I don't know if uh, at, at the time that I'm recording this uh, you guys might have seen the community post I made uh, regarding a little bit of a kind of a reset in anything to the way that I treat this channel uh, basically what I mean by that <laughs> what I what I mean by that is that uh, basically I want to get back into the swing of just properly recording content that I enjoy recording. Uh, no, doesn't really matter what it is, which is I think a big key thing. By the way, I always felt like I was pressured to record certain types of things, uh, but in reality, um, I don't have to do that. And there's a couple different reasons that kind of initially led me to have this kind of weight on my shoulders. Um, there's been two big things that have kind of been on the just the tail end of the, they've both happened at the same time. So it's kind of hit me in a little bit of a way. Um, basically, what's happened is that for those who don't know, um, back in late May, I held my graduation <laughs> for high school. So I graduated high school um, very, very recently. Um and that's been kind of a weird mental adjustment, I would say. Um, I, I haven't really known how to uh, deal with it, all things considered. I've been <laughs> definitely doing my best. I will I will tell you that. Um, it's been weird. And I, I don't think necessarily me graduating high school has been the problem. But uh, along with this, around the same time, you got to think, the perfectly normal Friday Night Funkin' videos were blowing up. Um, for me, this was kind of a big deal because you essentially had this big, I guess, leap forward in terms of the progression of this channel, uh, that I don't think I could have expected, you know, and it's weird because I've been having videos that would be the type to blow up since one me channel corruptions was the thing and my channel took off there. You know, this isn't really a new concept, but I think what's very... Uh, almost just intimidating about it is when you realize how much of a leap in progression forward it has on your channel. Um, especially knowing that when uh, when the Friday Night Funkin' videos were just starting out, I was at around, I believe, 70-something K? Uh, which was great. I was happy at that point. Um, not that I was unhappy at any point. I've, I I don't think in all of this, because you guys have probably been noticing, my upload schedule has been really crappy uh, during the month of July, and I heavily apologize for that. Uh, most of it has been because I have been in this weird state of, I don't know how to um, deal with, you know, going about my <laughs> my interest in this channel. I, I, I haven't known how to really just... How do I say it? Like, I haven't known how to treat it. Um, especially now that... Before, I, I was so used to this issue I was having of being limited to, um... You know, what time I had to record videos and everything. Uh, you know, the times that I was able to based on... Uh, what was it? Uh... The time I had based on school. How much, how much you know, time did school... Uh, kind of cover for me and how much could I afford to record because of it um, now that school's over I <laughs> there's no really adjustment to free time there's there's I mean again I've always wanted to 
really go full force with this. Um, and I, I think, honestly, there would have been a lot less confusion for me uh, in terms of how to go about this channel after high school if it wasn't around the same time that the Friday Night Funkin' videos blew up. It was... The timing was <laughs> real immaculate, let me, let me tell you. Um, but I, uh, I really do think that... I, I, I'm not I'm not complaining about the success that I've had at all. Um, also, I'm sorry if I'm being very sluggish with my gameplay. I'm recording this at 4 in the morning. Uh, and no, I'm not tired. Is that a problem with my sleep schedule? Yes. That is also something I'm looking to work on with myself, but that's a different thing we can talk about. Um, uh, another thing that has kind of driven me off the wall is because I, I think the when, when I got to a course of time where... You know, I felt almost this pressure with the Friday Night Funkin' videos. The hard part was I eventually ended up making a decision to quit doing Friday Night Funkin' related videos like the Perfectly Normal videos. And I, I feel like the way that I perceived how I looked at the content that I was doing with that was really different than how I actually felt. I think the way that I really ended up perceiving myself was that I didn't like doing perfectly normal Friday Night Funkin' playthroughs. I didn't like making that content. Guys, you, you gotta, you gotta, but, but I, and this was something I couldn't even realize to myself. You gotta think, if I didn't enjoy making the perfectly normal Friday Night Funkin' videos, I wouldn't have started making them in the first place. There had to have been a reason that I enjoyed them. And obviously you could make the argument that obviously my enjoyment got kind of halted from all of the success that was gathered from those videos. Truthfully, I don't think any fun in doing those videos got taken away from the popularity of them. It was more, I had this weird internal pressure to do them, which wasn't needed, right? And so I really feel like the way that I ended up eventually perceiving how uh, much I enjoyed those videos was kind of false. Because again, I really do enjoy making perfectly normal Friday Night Funkin' playthroughs. For a little bit of reference, I was kind of at a point not too long ago, and this is, I think, a testament to this. I was at kind of this weird point where I, um, how do I put this? I, I was at this weird internal conflict where I was like, you know, I was seeing that the Bob's Onslaught, aka Bob Week 2, was getting released, and I'm like, man, it'd be so cool if I could make like a little man perfectly normal playthrough, but I've kind of stopped doing the content on it. And then, you know, I realized to myself, and this even applied to simple gameplay videos like this, but it, I think it was more or less, this more or less, I think, had a bigger impact on the perfectly normal videos, um, that I just want to keep in mind doing them for the enjoyment of them. I actually had this really weird conflict with my channel, or I had this conflict with the point, the, the way that I looked at the channel where... I was worried, I think, a lot about the uh, the audience I was attracting, right? Because I, I'm going to be realistic with you. Just, just a little open and up front. Uh, the type of audience that I feel that we have definitely attracted from the perfectly normal Friday Night Funkin' videos was a lot of a younger age. Not that I mind. Like, okay. So, here's the thing. Uh, to, to you younger peeps, you younger lads on the channel... I appreciate you guys. I really do. Um, I think for a little bit there, I had a little bit of concern with um, just how, you know, how much uh, people of that demographic would be able to bring to the channel. Because it's a different environment for me, realistically. I'm very used to having almost a teenager, young adult demographic, which I still think is some of the most... Uh, close demographic I can have personally. Uh, for me, it, hello. Uh, it is some of the closest demographic I can have for me personally. Um, but I've also learned to appreciate that I think not only I, I, I shouldn't care as much about the demographic and more so about the impact that I'm able to bring with these videos and how that kind of spreads along any demographic. Any demographic gives me the opportunity to spread entertainment and enjoyment. Any any demographic will allow me to do that, and I think that's the big thing I was really missing 
um, about this whole thing. There was that, that was the big part of the formula that I was missing. And so from that point, that's what, that was one of the big things that made me realize that you can still do those perfectly normal videos. As long as you keep in mind the main thing that you had always wanted to stick to, which is that, you know, I do these videos for, in, in like, entertainment's sake and to brighten up people's day. And the thing is, is that even though most of my core audience is, like, young adults and teenagers, you you youngins can get enjoyment out of it, too. You know what I'm saying? I say youngins like I'm a, I'm a boomer. I, guys, I'm, I'm freshly 18, man. I... I'm, I'm, I got I got my gray hairs. I'm I'm 18. It's, it's adult problems, man. I don't feel like an adult at all. I, can I just say I really don't feel like an adult. Um, and I, I bet with the way I act in my videos, you guys probably don't look at me as one either. And you know what? You would be valid to feel that way. Completely valid to feel that way. Let me tell you. Um, Mario Odyssey, baby.